Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, now then, let's uh, have a look at how to play Stop Dragging My Heart Around by Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks, shall we? Uh, this shouldn't take very long, as it's just a couple of fairly common uh, chords and a few easy and short lead guitar fill lines that are strewn throughout the track. Uh, a really good track to learn all the way through if you're perhaps a beginner or early intermediate guitar player. Plus, it's a great bloody song. Uh, so let's get started with this one, shall we? Uh, we are in standard tuning for this tutorial, and this track starts with an A major chord, a full A major chord. I'm just going to strum right down the strings. A string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, open E. And then we're going to slowly build this. Drop into a C chord, and then we're going to drop this off to a, a, a B minor flat sixth, I think. C, we're just going to back our, our third fret here of the A up to the second fret while opening up the D string, dropping off this second fret of the D. And then back into the C. So that's the opening, A major. Build. C to B to C. And then we're into our first little uh, fill line here. So that is a slide from 10 to 12 of the high E. Just let it ring, give it a little bit of light vibrato. Into this. So we're going to grab the 10th fret of the B string, give it a little full step bend release. Off to 8, back to 10, and then grab the 9 of the G. Now we're going to do this little triad here. So we're on the 9th fret of the G, 8th fret of the B, 10th fret of the high E. And we're kind of palm muting the first note or two. And then we're letting that high E string ring out. We're going to do that twice. And that's the, uh, the little fill line that starts the song. Repeat. And then we're into the first verse. First verse, E minor, G major, A major. Just, and it's very lightly played. E minor. You're really just playing the top four strings. G, A, E minor, G, and you're gonna repeat that four times. Like I said, it's palm muted, it's kind of lightly played. So the, the very first verse, you only you do that four times. The next two verses, you're gonna do it six times. And uh, that leads into the, uh, the pre-chorus, a C, down to a D. And again, the C, we're just striking the middle four strings down to a D, and we're not touching upon the high E string here, so we're just hitting the D string, G string, and B string. Back to C, back to D, you repeat four times. And then the final time, you do the C off to B, back to C again. Right? And then we're into the next little fill line. Actually, I hammered on there, I think it's a slide. Back into this. Now leading out of this into the second verse, little fill line, pulling off three to open of the E, then the B string, and then two to open of the G, and then a little bend release from two off to open of the G, and then we're back into the, uh, the second verse. four times while Stevie's singing. Now Tom takes over the vocal and uh, one guitar continues doing that and the other one joins with these little triads again. Just while Tom is singing. And then we're into the, uh, the second chorus, C. 
down to D, back to C, back to D, back to C, back to D, back to C, off to B, back to C. And now we're into the shortest guitar solo of all time. Seventh fret of the B, off to five, off to three, back to five. Sliding in from five to seven. Five, three. Slide that into five. And that's the guitar solo, so that's pretty easy. And, uh, and then we're into this. So you're going to repeat that four times, I think. Uh, D. You're just going to ride down a D chord here while holding the uh, kind of the sus, uh, the D sus here. Uh, your pinky on the third fret of the uh, high E, and you're going to pull that off, and then just ride back up the strings. And then you're going to drop into a C while still holding this third fret of the B. A string, D string, and then skip down to the B and back up to the G. And then move into a G, same thing, C, move it up to G, and do the exact same thing. Skip down to the D string from the, uh, the low E, down to the B and up to the G. I think you repeat that three or four times, and then we, uh, at the end of it, you drop back into an A power chord, build it, C off to B, to back to C, leading into the third verse, back into this little fill line. And then we're into the third verse, same as the other verses, E minor. G, A, just lightly played, palm muted, Tom takes over the vocals, back into that again, back into the chorus, C, D, C off to B, back to C, and now we're into the extended outro, which is just uh, them repeating "Stop dragging my heart around, stop dragging my heart around" over what they were singing or over what we were playing during the verses. E minor, G, so one guitar is playing that, another one is playing those little triads every couple of bars. And they're kind of just in the background, right? Until fade out. And that, my friends, is how you play Stop Dragging My Heart Around by uh, Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks. Certainly hope you found that helpful. And uh, if you did, please hit that like button, drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be awfully kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.